We are going to need a sun, moon, and earth. This bright light right here will be our sun. This sphere will be the moon. And we are going to be the earth. The cycle begins with the new moon. The moon appears completely dark. What we will then see is just a thin slice of light called a crescent. The crescent moon will grow a little bit more until it reaches the next phase, first quarter. It's now 90 degrees away from the sun in the sky. As more days pass, the illuminated part of the moon comes more into view, entering its next phase, the waxing gibbous. Waxing because it looks to be growing every night until it reaches the next phase, the full moon. As the moon continues on its path, it appears to shrink again. We will see a gibbous moon again, but this time it's a waning gibbous. The next phase looks like another half moon. This time it's called third quarter. The half moon appears to shrink into a waning crescent, which will continue to shrink until it vanishes completely into the next new moon.